So this is the view that I spend a good portion of my day looking out on. As you can see, it's not a particularly exciting one. The occasional car, pedestrian, uh, though fewer these days. I think if I had known when I moved to this apartment that I'd be stuck inside for, well, what looks to be the better part of two months, maybe more, you know, I might have opted for something a little nicer, uh, maybe a few floors higher so you could actually see out on the city. You know, view of the Kremlin would be nice. So Moscow's under what's called self-isolation. Uh, the government doesn't use the word quarantine here, but that's essentially what it means. It means we're all inside, uh, alone, but in a way, alone together. Now, you can get outside for a few basic things, a trip to the local supermarket or pharmacy to take out the trash, uh, walk the dog, but that's about it. Russia has relatively few coronavirus cases compared to the hardest hit countries, uh, somewhere around 18,000 as I record this, but there are concerns about underreporting, either because of problems with testing or maybe uh, intentional efforts to keep the numbers down. But one thing everyone agrees on is that Moscow is the epicenter of the outbreak. And for now, its numbers keep growing. Which means we're stuck looking out our windows, uh, with some of us hoping the view, and I'm quite sure all of us hoping the news changes for the better.